Welcome to Obermatt Stock Investing. Today we are going to do something different. We are looking at entire markets. How attractive are these markets for investing? It all started with an article in the, in the Finance and Wirtschaft, and a, a Swiss newspaper similar to the Financial Times or the Wall Street Journal, that said that the Hang Seng Index, the index of Hong Kong, is undervalued. And you see the reason here on this chart. Basically, uh, what you see as a red line is the actual value of the Hang Seng Index. So the actual value of all stocks in Hong Kong that belong to that index. And the blue line is what uh, Finanz und Wirtschaft thinks is the actual true value of these stocks based on value criteria, based on the fundamental criteria of the company. And Finanz und Wirtschaft comes to the conclusion, now you're getting a lot more value actually compared to what you pay. You pay a lot less. Now, you can actually verify this research. You can go to, to Overmont and find uh, the value of the Hang Seng Index expressed in the Obermott rank system. Let's do that. Let's go to the Obermott webpage. You find under stocks the point index analysis and you can get the latest index analysis by clicking here. And that's what you then have in front of you all the markets that we cover, always how good is the value of this, of this uh, index, how good is the growth of all the companies in the index, how safely are the companies in the index financed. And we are now interested in the Hang Seng Index, which is down here, and we can see the value, the first, line, the first column was the value is 59, it's above average value, uh, that means it's above average value, um, it's below average growth actually, uh, Hong Kong, and it's above average safety. Really interesting. So it is really true, uh, the Hong Kong index is undervalued. You probably get good money for buying this index now, or basically good value for buying this index now. But what you can also do is you can compare Hong Kong to other markets on overmod.com. What you do is you sort by value and you do it twice so that you have the markets with the highest values on top. And we see here the best value is actually in Japan. The companies in Japan are a lot you know, cheaper compared to their assets, compared to their profits, compared to their size than markets, mark companies in other markets. Of course, they don't grow as well, but they're quite close to Hong Kong right now, and they're a little bit less safely financed. But what I find also interesting is that all the next markets are basically markets of Europe, you know, except, you know, Russia, you may or may not count as Europe, but Belgium, Austria, France, Italy, Norway, or, um, except or China, Finland and the European Union. These are all European markets that are better valued as Hong Kong. So when you think that Europe is a safer place to invest, you may come to the conclusion that it's better to invest in Europe than in Hong Kong. That's exactly what I'm doing with my portfolio. And you have now a tool uh, to decide yourself what markets are most interesting for you. The reason why I do a European portfolio, by the way, is also because if you sort the other way around, the USA is a lot more expensive. You know, the USA has a 29 point on the NASDAQ, has only uh, 40 points on the Standard Poor's 500, and 42 points on the Standard Poor's Mid-Cap Index. So I think USA is um, a quite highly priced country. Now, we can come to the conclusion that Europe, uh, that the US is safer as a financial market than Europe, and they, that might justify paying a higher price. But you might just as well come to the conclusion that Europe is, is equally safe as the US and you should not be paying more for your stocks and then you would invest in Europe the way I did it too. Okay, that was it for today with Obermott Stock Investing. I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.